Today we are going to talk about the alias. So SQL alias are used to give a table or a column name but a temporary name. How? If I am selecting all the record from the tables students and now I am going to hit the enter button by pressing ctrl enter basically my query. So now as you can see it is showing us the column name id s id s name s city and s address if i am saying that select not static in this time i am saying s city as city where from students then here what are you saying you are saying that oh please show me this column but change the column name as city control enter so now as you can see it's showing you the name of the column is city if you are saying city x first of all if you are saying my city my city control enter so now as you can see it's showing you the results as my city because you are saying that oh please show me this column as this so this is the temporary name as you know you don't have this name as you can see the my city or the city column is not exist but it, it's still showing you the record you can also specify the multiple you are you can say select uh, i'm saying s city as city and now i am saying with comma separate for suppose i am saying s id as id from students semicolon to terminate the statement control enter to execute the query control enter so now as you can see it's showing you the records with the temporary name so city name as city s id as id so as you can see this is the id and this is the city if you uh, so it's totally depend upon you how you are managing your and how you are using your statement if you are saying that uh, select asterisk from student as my std control enter so now as you can see it's showing you the uh, results like this but don't worry we will discuss about this uh, if, if we have more than one tables so for now we have only one table so forgot this now you know the basics how can you use the build clause select and order by and uh, you know very well about the alias and you know very well, very well how can you use multiple uh, search with using the build clause yes we have discussed about the n and we have discussed about the insert update values now uh, we will discuss about some topics some basic topics uh, after that we will discuss about the joins so what are joins we will discuss uh, so don't worry about it uh, but for now i am just telling you that if you get the results from two different table so you always use the join so don't worry we will discuss about it so thank you for watching